అండ్ యా సతీష్ సతీష్ గారు ఆర్ ఇదర్ ఒక ఐ మీన్ కొంచెం టైం ఇవ్వండి నేను మీకు క్లాస్ స్టార్ట్ చేస్తాను అండ్ బిఫోర్ దట్ ఈ సినారియోస్ ని కంప్లీట్ చేసేసి నేను ఒకసారి క్లాస్ స్టార్ట్ చేసేస్తాను మీకు ఓకేనా ఉండొచ్చా క్లాస్ లో సో ఒక హాఫ్ అన్ అవర్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ మినిట్స్ ఉండొచ్చు ఓన్లీ ఫారిన్ కరెన్సీ అండ్ విత్హోల్డింగ్ ట్యాక్సెస్ అంటే రిలేటెడ్ ఉంటాయి అంటే ఇప్పుడు మీరు ఆటోమేటిక్ పేమెంట్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ లో ఫారిన్ కరెన్సీ రివాల్యూషన్ ఎక్స్క్లూషన్ చేయడం ఇట్లాంటివి ఉంటాయి కదా సో అట్లా ఊరిక జస్ట్ చూసుకోండి ఏమేమి ఆప్షన్స్ ఉంటాయి అని రైట్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్డ్ ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ ఇన్ ఈసీ okay and uh, uh, today we will going to discuss all these things in saps for hana i mean one scenario uh, that is uh, in transaction code fb60 and fb70 so if we are posting with withholding taxes and that is a tds so what we could do so automatically we should calculate the uh, tds um with any invoices okay whatever the exemptions that we have based on the client informations and all so we should give it now you have 10000 rupees and uh, the client uh, whatever the clients that you have and client doesn't want to calculate the uh, tds okay on the exemption amounts okay so if we have uh, less than or if we have uh, e- um, i mean greater than or equal to 10000 rupees and all automatically system should not calculate the tds that is the main important thing and if we have more than not equal to or more than <clears throat> 10000 rupees so we should calculate the tax deductions at the source okay tds we can call it as and we have seen it all these things um, uh, i mean in uh, sps for sorry ecc and we are going to see all these things uh, in saps for hana okay everything is same all of you okay so you no need to worry just uh, try to understand the things and if we face so why we are discussing all these things in uh, saps for hana okay why because if you face new error okay you will going to get it right i will also going to get the new error and all but when it comes to the uh, real time and all you will going to have sandbox service okay so if you are having some doubts on the particular topics and you can just go up, uh, i mean go with the particular sandboxes and quality servers and all okay whatever the transport request that you have based on the transport request and all uh, you will going to test it right so before you test all these things and all you can just go to the sandbox servers and whatever the things that you want to do you can do it okay there is no any problem uh, uh, regarding with concepts and all okay so you can just uh, create the withholding tax types and all so if it is running very well in sandbox servers and all automatically uh, you will going to develop uh, one thing right and transport request will be transferred from one server to the another server and that should be done by the base systems only you are just giving the inputs to the base systems okay right so can you go to the sap system huh? and we will going to define the withholding tax types and withholding tax codes if we have uh, existed uh, tax types and tax codes and we will not going to create anything and uh, if we don't have we will going to create the withholding tax types and withholding tax codes uh, uh, um sudha ma'am you can just see there is a run time and if you open the run time automatically there will be a, a one uh, s4 uh, hana server will come into the picture then if you just click on the connection automatically it will show you the enter your credentials so like s4 uh, new 52 and all and you you can just give the password then you can just go to the okay option automatically you will going to open i mean uh, it will going to open the s4 hana access servers okay if you click on the s thing no need to worry i will going to show you the nothing how to open the s4 hana server in your computer
Okay, I love you. So now you can just go to the SPRO reference IMG. Man. And what we will do is, first of all, uh, we will check all these things with. Can you take out the create new session, ma'am, and go to the transaction code XK02, or else go to the transaction code BP, business partners. Huh? Can you take out the uh, supplier number, ma'am? Mm. And give the supplier number. And give the company code. Automatically, we will going to get the supplier numbers. That is simpler, right? I think so. Mm, go to the start option. Double click on this thing. Ah, uh, can you go to the uh, change PP role map and take out the FLVN double zero? That is company code data. Huh. OK, and uh, go to the vendor withholding taxes and all. And uh, yeah, D1, D2 withholding tax type. And what is the code? 1D and 2D and withholding tax recipient type is D1 and D2. OK, good. Now you can just uh, can you I mean close this thing now. Give slash in. Give slash in and uh, can you go to the tra uh, this uh, SPR or reference IMG financial accounting and uh, financial accounting global settings? And the next one is uh, withholding tax, and the next one is um, extended withholding taxes and all, and the next one is calculation and withholding tax type. And just we are just checking uh, whether this withholding tax type is there uh, in our system or not that we have defined earlier. OK. Mm, 1D is the main thing. Sorry, D1 is the main thing. And this is invoice tax deductions. That is whatever the postings that we are doing. OK, so invoice postings, uh, we do have this thing and gross amounts and no accumulation amounts, and the region will be 10. OK, everything is in. good. Come back. So it is there. D1 is there. Then next step. Check with the uh, invoice uh, uh, payment postings. Huh. And go to the continue option and take out the D2. Yes, D2 is there, right? No, good. So this is for the payment postings, all of you. See, all of you, if you don't have the payment posting, so system should not calculate the withholding tax. First of all, TDS should not calculate. I mean, uh, it should not be calculated. And uh, when it comes to the invoice postings of the clients and all, okay, they will just post all these things with purchase orders and also sales orders, not in a manual things. So all of you just try to remember the point. Okay, so previously, I mean, yesterday only they have asked one question. So I mean, uh, you will do manual invoices. I mean. Uh, will you do manual invoices in your organizations and all? so that person said yes okay don't say like this whatever see we do have a huge number of invoices lacks of invoices and all. okay if you don't uh, i mean if you don't if you give the answer like uh, manual invoices and all it will going to take a lot of time okay it will going to uh, have a uh, um, lot of uh, labor uh, process and all okay I mean a lot of recruitment process and all. So we do all these things with purchase orders and also sales orders and don't get too much of confusions on these questions and try to understand the things. OK, and if you don't have the payment posting uh, types and all, OK, this is the interview question and we cannot calculate the TDS. I mean, we cannot calculate the TDS and also post the TDS. See all of you when you go to the transaction code FBL one and automatically tax deductions has been ha uh, registered, right? Some of the tax uh, options has been registered and also uh, with the exemption of these amounts like TDS and all. So the system is showing that this is the exact uh, opening balances and all to clear with vendor. OK, good. Come back now and go to the withholding tax codes. And the tax code is a 1D and uh, for uh, payment postings, it is a 2D, right? And SAP reference IMG and financial accounting and financial accounting global settings. And the next one is withholding tax. Withholding tax and the next one is extended withholding taxes and uh, calculations and the withholding tax codes. Withholding 
tax codes. Uh, a defined withholding tax codes. Define withholding tax codes. OK, the next one is uh, so here we do have one D sorry D1 uh, and uh, D2. Mm, double click on this thing. ma'am. OK, so withholding tax type is a D1 and withholding tax type is a 1D. OK, so uh, you can just observe yourself all of you. If you want to give the percentage subject to tax as a 100 percentage and we will going to uh, see the scenarios with the 60 percentage, 50 percentages and all. I think you have already seen all these things in uh, um, ECC and all. So if you want to try with the uh, uh, formula, I mean uh, percentage subject to tax is a 60 percentage, 70, 80. So you can just try with these things. OK, everything is perfect and withholding tax rate is 4 percent. OK, right. Come back now and uh, uh, D2 is also there. That is 2D for the tax codes and all. Yes, come back and uh, we have to define the formulas uh, for the withholding tax exemptions and all. Yes, so from this step, the configurations will going to start. And uh, country key. See, based on the as is document only, you have to uh, generate the exemptions, all of you. So if you don't have the as is document information and don't try to create anything and don't try to uh, uh, do some modifications in production servers and also development servers. So, so to uh, change each and everything, you need to have certain um, permissions. OK, certain authorizations you need to have. OK, where you will going to get the authorizations and all when it comes to the resume preparations and all I will going to uh, give you the proper explanation on these things. OK, don't worry. And uh, can you go to the new entries ma'am for headed data and we will going to uh, create the one formula that is currency is INR and withholding tax type is a uh, D1 mm. and tax code is a 1D and withholding tax city. What of the city that we have defined and you can just give it. And valid from means 01.04.2022 and uh, the fiscal year is not ended, right? So that is why I'm just giving like this. OK, click on the enter, go to the save button and save it. <clears throat> can you select this thing? And uh, go to the formulas uh, for uh, calculating withholding taxes and on. Mm, double click on this thing. See all of you why this thing is. Uh, uh, I mean uh, why the system is generating the information and on. Entries are not added individually to the change request. OK, so we are just adding these things with the help of tax codes and tax types. So that is why the system is uh, um, throwing an uh, information and all. You no need to worry. Just to go to the continue option. OK, go to the new entries and try to give the base amount uh, to base amount is anything that is your choice. And uh, here the base amount will be I mean normal base amount. I am just giving to uh, two lakh rupee and here base amounts will be I'm just giving the C. You can able to give the withholding tax rate and uh, uh, withholding tax uh, uh, base amounts, reduction base amounts and all. You can just give it. Just I'm uh, taking the reference as a 2 lakh rupee and with the help of maximum amount, I'm just taking the reduction base amount as 2 lakh rupee only. You can just give two base amount as double nine, double nine, double nine, double nine. See why? Because if anyone uh, is using the D1 withholding tax type, D2 withholding tax types and all, see they will going to enter a lot of uh, amount, right? I mean more than the 2 lakh rupee amount, right? So if they enter, so they will not going to get any problem. OK, why? Because it is a SAP S4 HANA server and also ECC servers, right? So anyone, anybody can use your uh, withholding tax types. No issue. OK, give the tax rate, ma'am. That is uh, 4% and the reduction base amount will be Reduction base amount will be uh, 2 lakh rupee. Click on the enter, go to the save button and save it. The data was saved in. OK, come back. The next thing will be. Uh, come back and go to the new entries and try to create the withholding tax type for invoice postings and uh, withholding tax type for um, I mean payment clearings. Withholding tax type, payment clearing, withholding tax codes. 
and after this thing we will going to see the scenarios of uh, automatic payment program ha huh. and go to the new entries and uh, take out the base amount everything is same all of you don't worry and in interview point of view all of you they will just ask you why you are giving a reduction base amount a decreasing reduction base amount see what is the difference between reduction base amount and decreasing reduction base amount and on why because see here the diff main difference is in the uh, decreasing reduction base amounts and on okay so you can decrease okay the reduction base amount up to certain amount of uh, uh, thing okay so suppose if it is a 2 lakh if you want to reduce that amount reduction amount to 1 lakh you can just reduce it okay so that is the reduction um, decreasing base amounts and on and that is not at all important for uh, any clients and on so they just use the reduction base amounts on okay so go to the i mean in interview point of view only they will just ask you what is the decrease uh, reduction base amounts and on okay just tell uh, these things come back my sure and uh, then next come back and we have to give the um, i mean exemptions amounts right for the minimums and maximum amounts go to the minimum amounts and maximum amount. all of you if you have tax types and tax codes then only you can able to give the configurations in minimum and ma uh, maximum amounts okay so define minimum and maximum amounts for withholding tax types hmm go to the new entries ma'am Mm. Can you give the withhold in tax type? See, if you complete this step only, you can able to uh, give the maximum uh, reduction amount in the, uh, I mean exemptions amounts in the tax codes only. Okay, valid from is zero one dot zero four dot two thousand twenty two, and uh, minimum base amount uh, will be uh, how much? Two lakh rupee. Okay, good. Click on the enter. Go to the save button and save it. Yes, we can able to enter it after this thing. Mm, come back. Uh, then uh, uh, deal with the second uh, tax type. Uh, no, 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 ma'am. Here only you have to define the tax code, uh, second uh, tax code uh, type, right? That is uh, D2, I think so. Go to the new address and give D2 and give the currency. and give the currency INR. And the next one is valid from is 01.04.2022. And uh, minimum amount base amount will be like this. Hmm. Yes, see all of you, the system is saying that enter the uh, minimum base amount based on the tax codes. OK, so now we have defined all these tax types, uh, exemption tax types, right? And come back and we will go in. Uh, I mean, we will uh, do the configurations for the tax codes also. OK, and define minimum or maximum amounts for withholding tax codes. And go to the new entries. Uh, can you give withholding tax uh, a type, ma'am? Can you give withholding tax type and withholding tax codes? And currency, INR currency. And valid from? So I mean, based on the withholding tax base amount only we have given, okay. And also uh, with the help of a base amount exemptions only, we are just giving withholding tax exemptions amounts. Okay, can you just give two lakh rupee withholding taxes? Eh? Two lakh rupee, and the system will not going to throw you an error. Okay, why? Because we have already given this uh, minimum base amounts in withholding tax type, right? Click on the enter, go to the civil and say. OK, system is not throwing an error, right? OK, good. come back. And the next one is go to the new address. Withholding tax type. Mm, withholding tax code. 
2D. And the next one is currency INR and valid from is 01.04.2022 and withhold in tax exemption amount is in withholding tax exemption amount is in 2000 uh, sorry 2 lakh click on the enter go to the save button and save it mm, come back and what is the next configuration do we have any configurations i know and uh, go to that notepad ma'am do we have any configurations on these things uh, assign withholding tax type and tax codes in vendor master records uh, with the help of uh, recipient type okay everything is in Oh, the next uh, so arise one invoice man using transaction for FP60. Section code is very, very important, all of you, with the help of business places and all. Do we have any business places, ma'am? And give the business place also. Uh, automatically it will come. Yes, Bangalore is the business places. <clears throat> no amount authorizations and take what the. Oh. A yeah, vendor is uh, subjected to the withholding taxes and all, and you can just give the reference also, ma'am. Hmm. Hmm. Give the reference also, any references. Click on the enter, and if you find any errors and all, we will just going to see it. Go to the similar option. Now it is not calculating the withholding taxes, right? And go to the save button and save it, ma'am. And try to take out the new invoices with the help of four to like fifty thousand rupees and all in SAP S4 HANA. Okay, and if you face any problem, automatically we will going to see it, and you will going to learn the errors also, right? OK, give the reference and go to the assimilate option. Now it is calculating the thing right on 50,000. 50, 50,000 into 4% is equal to 2000 rupees and go to the uh, save button no? and try to go to the transaction code uh, uh, FBL1. n Take out the vendor. And. Uh, I think simpler, right? Hmm. Okay, everything is same, right? Good. So you can able to clear all these things. Okay, can you give slash in? Okay, right, all of you. So this is the withholding tax uh, uh, a real time scenario. Uh, with the help of uh, exemption amounts and uh, for the vendors and you can do with the customers also that is your choice okay if you want to uh, assign withholding taxes to the uh, customers and all okay basically we will not going to assign withholding taxes to customers basically i mean in any client point of view and all okay but uh, if they want to calculate they can calculate it and we will going to assign all these things with the help of uh, 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 withholding tax types and also tax codes okay 